this is a short video just to show how to reduce the file size of your videos, whether this be for the submissions for your briefs or tasks in uni, or if you wish to reduce the size of your video files and send them off to post-production needs, or perhaps you want to reduce the file size for uploading to YouTube or Vimeo. So I've just loaded up Premiere Pro. If you were working in here, you would have a big project you've been working on, and perhaps you're going to be sending it off for post-production needs, send it to a sound engineer, or perhaps you're collaborating with other students, or you're wishing to submit this for your course. So I've got a video here, which is this file here is 1.08 gigabytes. So I want to reduce the file size, but don't reduce it so much that the image quality is compromised, even though it doesn't matter too much if it's compromised, as long as your frames are co the correct amount and you can sync things up properly, it won't matter too much, especially for post-production needs. A slightly blurry image is good for being able to send via WeTransfer. So I'm going to go up to Export Media. And the main thing that you want to check is that you're on H.264. The preset can be high bitrate. Just leave that as is. This is usually what it shows up with. But we're going to make some additional changes down here. So we will effectively be changing this preset. All of this is OK until we reach bitrate encoding. So generally, it will either be on CBR or VBR. VBR stands for variable bit rate, which means that the bit rate will change depending on the quality of the video and how many frames are perhaps repeated or colors that could get repeated. It effectively tries to compress the video down. The first pass means it gets passed through once, so you might not have the most optimum compression. If you go for VBR2 pass, it will pass twice. It will take longer to export, but you will ultimately get a smaller file. If we look down here, we have the estimated file size. If I was to export this as is right now, which would be 227 megabytes. And for two minutes and 56, that's not too bad, but you could reduce it a little bit more by going on to VBR two pass and now we get a target bit rate and maximum bit rate so the target bit rate is at 10 we could reduce that possibly down to approximately five and maximum bit rate maybe put that at 10 just reduce these a little bit and you can already see that the estimated file size is reduced by half now, I'm going to hit export on this, and we'll have a little look at it. I'm expecting some compression for this, but it should be good enough for post-production needs. OK, so that's the video now exported. That took about three and a half minutes or so. It wasn't far too long. So this will export to my Premiere Pro folder with my documents. And I'm just going to have a little look at the quality. I think the quality of that is passable. That's reduced significantly in size. There is some artifacts between the trees and when movement is happening, there is some some kind of unpleasant stuff. But in general, this is more than good enough to be able to sync things to audio or even for submission. So I'm also going to check about the media encoder, which is also the other method of compression. Here we have the media encoder, which is also part of the Adobe Suite 2. 
If you have access to that through your student account, I would highly recommend downloading it because you can quickly drop in some videos, export them down, reduce the size of them, while you can retain, of course, the high quality file for yourself if you are working on sound and then sync that with your high quality render. But for this purpose, if I wish to send things for submission or to other students, I would probably go with this method as it gives a range of presets that you can drag on. So over here, which is my 1.08 gigabyte MPEG-4 file. So I'm going to drag this here. And we see that I have match source adaptive low bit rate. That's what I used before. But what we can do is look at the other H.264 presets. And we can reduce this to 420p, 720p HD, which is more than fine. I think at the moment this is 10 AAP HD, which is probably a bit overkill for sending out to somewhere, especially if it's a draft or if it's getting marked or just uploaded for showcase purposes. So I might take 720p HD or I'll go with 4 AAP. I think that'll be fine. And you drag that over to here. That's going to be high quality 480p SD. And the output file we can see is also going to be an MP4. And when we hit this play button, it's going to start going through all the videos. And you can have multiple of them if you wish to convert multiple at once, which is great if you want to convert multiple sourced videos and change them to be the same compression type and put them into Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's see. Okay, so now that that's finished converting, that took about just under a minute, so it didn't take long at all. And if we go up to here, we have a little link to show where that the output file was placed to. So I'm going to click on that. Here we are here. And it's down from 1.08 gigabytes down to 73.1 megabytes, which is ideal. And if we have a look at the quality, it's definitely reduced in size. Not too much artifacts. I would say that that's definitely viable for applying sound to it and sending it out for drafts, especially if you're working with um, people working on films, you can send that off as a draft to show how the audio is syncing with their film, because you don't want to be sending two gigabyte sized films every time, you always want to minimise the size. So I hope that was informative, and good luck with all of it.